Okay, types of agreement. <coughs> so the full licensing agreement, this is what most of you want. The average everyday inventor with lots of ideas wants the fully funded <coughs> licensing agreement where you pay nothing. There's no submission fees. There's no charges of any kind. Now, it's harder to get that because you're basically coming to us and saying, we want you to assume all the risk. We have to, these tests, the two-minute TV test costs about $50,000. So if, if we're going to assume all the risk and then we're going to spend all the money making it, we've got to like the product well enough to want to do that. And you've got to be a reasonable enough person that we think, you know, we're not going to, we're not going to be slowed down because sometimes the inventors slow us down. They have a lot of questions. They have a need to know. That's fine. I remember being that way, but in a full licensing agreement, the inventor is not involved at all. You do not get to be involved in the process. You don't get to give your two cents. You know, you're not paying any money. You're gonna, gonna get a licensing agreement and we're gonna do what we know how to do. And if it succeeds, you get a check. But if it doesn't succeed, then you get the rights to your product back. So there's very low risk for you, but you're not involved. And, and you, you know, you haven't earned the right to be involved if you haven't launched products. If you want to be involved, which a lot of the crowdfunding people do, we have a partnership agreement and that's where the inventor, or usually this is for entrepreneurs. This is for somebody, they've already put 10,000 into their patent or 20,000. Maybe they bought a garage full of them, so they have 20 to 30,000 invested there. Maybe they put a website up and they've got marketing. You could easily be 50 to 80 to $150,000 in on your idea, easy. If you put that kind of money in, you might not wanna let it go. You might not want a full licensing agreement especially if you have a successful crowdfunding campaign, because then your head's a little bit bigger and you think, oh, I have a successful crowdfunding campaign, so I'm gonna be able to make this happen on my own. And maybe you can, maybe you don't need a partner. Maybe you can go on on your own. But what I'm finding that more and more is most inventors do need a partner because they can't move fast enough. They can't, there's too much competition. They don't have those channels built. They need a partner. So for those kind of crowdfunding people, they can come in for somewhere under half, somewhere between 17.5 and 25. Now you will find a lot of service providers that offer this kind of a deal in our category. And that's where you got to know who's who because you can go to a media production company and they'll sell you a, a commercial. You know, you can buy a commercial from a lot of people, but if they don't have the right testing metrics platforms built in and the right strategic alliances, within our category, which is very, very small, our category, it, it's just gonna be, it's not the same thing. So you do have to know that. Uh, now, the consulting agreement, this is more for small to mid-sized companies that have already distribution into retail. Because, and really what it is for them is a fast fail test. If you think about, if you imagine that you're already a small to mid-sized manufacturer you already sell goods into Walmart, into Target. You know, it takes you like a year to get in. And then once you get in, you, you've spent, what, half a million dollars on product, on goods, and then you put that good on the shelf, but then people walk by and they just don't buy it. It doesn't sell. You know, you don't really know why. You just know they didn't buy it. Well, the Walmart buyer, the Target buyer, they say, get that product out of my store because they are paid on inventory terms, right? So they say, get that product in my store. And by the way, I'm not paying for it and I'm not paying for the shipping back and you're gonna take it all and I'm not paying the bill. And so the manufacturer has to eat that. And that can easily be $300,000 to $500,000 easy. And so what some of these small to mid-sized manufacturers are doing now is they're paying us the 50,000. We don't get a royalty, we're just doing the test. And, and if it fails, then they say, oh, Thank goodness, we found out for 50,000 in 120 days that it was gonna fail. That's a lot less expensive than two years and half a million dollars to find that out. Okay, so they're liking it for that. There are occasional people that do this successfully. It's rare for people that don't have distribution already to be successful, but you know, there's a lot of successful partnerships and there's a lot of successful licensing agreements. So, from my perspective, when you bring me a product, it doesn't really matter to me what deal you want. It's, it's the same to me. 
I want to, I only want to spend my time on products I think are going to succeed though.